Today on Girl Chat, we celebrate Friday. And new study proves once a cheater, always a cheater. Cheating. Oh, what it is. Plus, the breast holiday gift, ta-ta-ta. <laughs> then, you get dialed up to see your doctor. No! Plus, Adrian performs her hit holiday single. Amazing. Amazing. The real starts now. This is our because we made it to Friday. Yeah. 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 However, we don't just do regular old Fridays here at the <laughs> Real. No. Oh no. No, no, we celebrate Friday. Yeah. So today yes. we are toasting, oh yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Today we are toasting Friday with a delicious cocktail that is light and refreshing. Oh. This tart, fizzy treat is the perfect way to kick off any winter weekend. We're mm. each sipping on a pomegranate, I love pomegranate, yeah. thyme fizz. I love it, yeah. I love the garnish Ooh. of the actual thyme. Ooh, Ooh it's so lovely. Cute. Head okay. over to thereal.com to find out how you can whip up one of these cocktails oh, yeah. or mocktails for yourself. How you, you like enjoying it? that? How is it? Like it's almost gone. Yeah. Oh, that was a big gulp for me, but okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. I okay. like it. I like it. All right. Now that we've taken the edge off, <laughs> ladies, are you ready for some fry a girl chat? Hell yeah. Yes. Okay. You know, All it right. gets a little interesting now with these. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. First up. Have you ever heard the phrase, once a cheater, always a cheater? Mm -hmm. oh. yes. yes, we've heard of that. Well, according to some scientists, it's true. The journal Nature Neuroscience recently published a study that said infidelity desensitizes the brain from the negative emotions linked to lying. Mm -hmm. Therefore, even if a cheater feels guilty about lying the first time, they are less likely to experience the same level of regret mm. the next time around. Hmm. I think that's true. So ladies, do you think if a cheater strays once, they'll stray again? Oh. Yes, but I'm gonna tell you in different, it depends on the circumstance and this is okay. why I think this. Okay, I think that the first time you treat, you, I think the first, I think the first time that you cheat on someone, it does become easier to lie to them because you do de desensitize that thing that says this is wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a new relationship and you do it again, I think it's different. So um, let me explain, I think, I think it's a lot easier to cheat on someone you've already cheated on. Mm -hmm. But I believe that if you start in a new relationship, you are less likely to cheat in that new relationship, especially if you make a decision to want to change yeah. and that you want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's not to say, I personally believe that God is a God of second chances. We've all done wrong in our life. That's like saying, I was a cheater in my first relationship when I was 19 years old. Does that mean I'm gonna cheat today? I'm not even the same person I was then. I'm not even the same person I was last year. We're always changing, always growing. So you're saying you do agree with it or you don't? I, she does not I, agree I think, with this I study. think it's Good less point. likely. I, th I think that when you want to change and you want to do right, you do right. Point but that's period. the reason why. Forget what the scientist is saying. When you want to do right by somebody, Lonnie, don't front. But you will do the right thing. Well, I think that's why they say if a person cheats on you and you don't like it to let them go. Yes. And that kind of teaches them a lesson. Yes. You go try to find something new, they try to go find something. Do something, something new. about it. But the point is, if they cheat again with a new person, it's like what this study is saying is that it's something in our brain that desensitizes you so that you think, you think it's... Okay, I don't want to use this example. Okay, let me use another example. Um, not <laughs> cheating, because I was going to say, if you kill a person, they say right, it's yeah. easy to kill a person. Right. And then next... Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's no, and it's let's easier. There. Or let's just say, beat up a person. Once okay, you hit yeah, a person. Yeah, okay, okay, let's do that. Okay. okay. 
you, domestic. Yeah, that is true. Yes. Then it's easier to keep hitting them. Yeah. So in that a way, same person, exactly okay? that same person, but just a person in general. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I th I think you're a lot less likely to hit somebody you've never hit before. I'm not trying to be funny. Like if like if. I, this is terrible examples if you, I don't know because I'm not a mother. Right. But I think that the first time you spank your child, that has to be the most heartbreaking thing in the world. My mom seemed okay with it about the fifth time. I'm just saying. <laughs> she was like, I spanked her before, she'll get over it. And I'm not being funny, but when you cheat on somebody, and I, I'm going to be super honest right now because right. I've been there and I've done that. Go ahead. When you cheat on somebody and they don't even react, or you know you can get away with it, it's easier to do it. I was in a relationship where I know the person knew I was cheating on them and they didn't do anything about it, which did two things. One, it made it easier to do. And two, it made me wonder, then why are you even with me? Right. Are you with me for the right reasons? You let me do what yes. I'm doing, so why are you even with me? So this is the only part that I disagree, only from my experiences. Yeah. Everybody who's been, who's been cheated on or it was in the relationship where you see the cheating happen, yeah. you experience it differently. So I don't agree with this statement because I believe that you are not your past and you have the power to change whatever it is you yeah. decide I agree. want to be different. However, I notice that when you're describing this, and I hear this a lot with my friends who've gone through cheating yeah. or were cheaters, they describe the reaction to them or why the relationship went a certain way that made them cheat. And when I was in my, in my parents' relationship, I saw cheating take place. And for me, I realized that cheating in it, in it of itself is a selfish move. Yes. You do it because you're not happy, so you don't deal with it maturely. You feel like you're not getting something in the relationship, so you don't go to counseling or sex therapy, you decide to go get something yourself. It's selfish. It is very so selfish. And cowardly. Yes. So at the end of the day, you are cheating because it's something that you're doing to fulfill yourself. And that is why, to me, cheating is, it has more to do with having bad priorities than it does to have bad character. You can change yeah. your priorities, come straight, and prioritize what matters to make the cheating right. I don't know. I, I want to know. Because men just tend to do I it. I mean... It's a lot of guys out here, yes. they just do it because they like a variety. And it's like, you could be the best. I know the best, the best example I can get. No. See, I keep using these bad these examples. These examples, now, where are you going to no, go next? I want to say, I want to say about, like, like, look at Beyonce. Beyonce, yes. you. It don't get no better than that. And I'm not that. saying, you, exactly. I'm saying she, she's a, a, she's, she seems like a really good person. She's talented. She had babies and she still got cheated on. Now, will he cheat again? I don't know. But what I'm saying is, what was missing from that relationship? It was see, just him. It's just he wanted. That's what I mean. He yes. we'll, we'll never know, but but I think but that there's he was something selfish so much deeper. to not fix whatever it was with him. For sure. He instead went to go do something else, and we don't know. We don't want to judge it, the right, relationship. Right. Right. But he didn't. Well, that's fix what I keep saying. Yes. I keep coming up with these examples. It's just bad today. <laughs> that's why I try to only it. use what I know. And when my life changed was, when, <laughs> what'd you do? When my life changed was when I got cheated on later on in life in my relationship. Guys, that was when I tell you, there's no other way to describe it than Oprah, an aha moment. Like the light bulb went off and I said, oh my God, because I, ignorance is bliss. And let me explain. I didn't know what that felt like for mm -hmm. someone to do that to me. So I thought what he didn't know doesn't hurt him. And this was, guys, I was a teenager then, but when I got cheated on in my 20s, it was like life shattering. Like, I, I did everything that you say. What was wrong with me? What was I missing? Right, right, what, right. what did I do wrong? Like, is it me? I'm not pretty enough. My butt isn't big enough. My boobs are like, you go through all of these things. And I always swore to myself, I would never, ever, ever make anybody else feel the way I felt. But, but that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying in that. You will never do that again. So I will never because you changed your priority. I am different. Have I you been changed. Cheated I would on? never do I, that. Yes, I have. Um, I think it just who hasn't been cheated on? That's uh, yeah, sad, right. Um, I think it depends on the individual and the experience. Yeah. I think sometimes you have to hit. There are some people that have to hit rock bottom yeah. to wake themselves up and realize, wait a minute. I've got to change. Yeah. And I'm a true believer in whenever there's a will, whenever there's a will, Amen. there is a way. So, Amen. true. So if that man or that woman is like, wait a minute, I, 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 don't, I don't like how I hurt my family, my mm -hmm. kids, priorities. Most, most priorities, most of all myself, mm -hmm. 
and God, yep. and I want to change, I believe with God, you, okay. all things are possible. I, I know where all I want to go. I know where I want to go. I know where I want to go. Okay. 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 Brace Look. yourself. Brace yourself. Okay. 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 Here's Bonnie. my question. Here's okay. my question. If you're the one that got cheated on, mm -hmm. how long do you, how many chances that you give them? You know, if you believe it in, you know, that they might change. How many chances do you give them? How much do you forgive them? What could they chances? do? Chances? If it were me? You cheat on Jeannie Mai? Yeah. Goodbye, honey. Yeah, that's how I feel. Bye. But that's that how I feel. But let me tell you, when you're with you're someone up. that you know will do that, right. it's a lesser chance you're going to do that to somebody that has no tolerance for cheating. And I think guys get away with it. Women, we got to get better. Yes, we got to yes. believe that we deserve better. I'm confused. We, women, yeah, women got to do better. Yeah, but, but wait, would you apply that law yes. or this idea, would you apply that rule to Beyonce and Jay? We talked about this that's in I said it depends on the individual and it depends on their ex experience. If I'm listening to her album, right, it sounds like she left. If I'm listening to the album, right, she says at in the one album that point. at one particular time she was like, I'm out of here. And was going to take her baby with yeah, her. That's so on the that's, song. This, I that's was it. like, yes, right, B. And you you are see it? Blue. Yes. You know. Yeah, you, you got to hold yourself to a standard and I think right. that will make the man hopefully not treat okay, you that way. Okay, so this is what, this is what I would do. Okay. okay. Well, there to me, there are two different types of, of cheating. There's one where, well, it's all wrong, but mm. there's one where they make a mistake, and then there is when they have an affair. Like, an affair uh -oh. is a little bit longer, and Feelings a lot of lying, sure. you know, Side involved. Kicks. So, what I would do, I, I don't condone cheating, and yes, I would want to, as I sit here today, say, if Adam cheated on me, I would just get up and leave. But I would be lying to myself. I would want to try to work it make out. it work. So what I would do is I would separate. Mm -hmm. And I would see, you know, if he figured it out. And, and if I see some changes, like him going to church every day. And, <laughs> oh, and his life right with Christ. You know what I mean? And seeing some actions yeah. in his life. Yeah. Little things change. Because if you change the little things, then you'll change the bigger things. But he's then I'll think about, you know, giving him, um, you know, a, a, a second chance. Yeah. Okay. Well, the man that does that <laughs> wants to be with that woman. And that makes And again, the that means yes. your priorities if change. If a man yes. anyway, wants yeah. to be with that woman, he will do yes. what he has to do if yes. he doesn't, Got he's it. not going Nobody yet. Nobody cheat. Well, That's all we ask. Yes. Yes. That's Stop. number one. Stop Clean cheating. up your Let's act. Do better. And not only cleaning up your act, but cleaning up your appearance, people. Because there's a new trend <laughs> taking place at the doctor's offices all over the country. Well-groomed women. Damn. <laughs> okay, dermatologist Laurel Garrity says that women are showing up to her appointments perfectly groomed with fresh blowouts, manicures, shaved body parts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and even matching bra and pants sets. She goes on to say that all isn't really necessary because you should just do what you do to feel comfortable. The fact that you're taking responsibility for your health is all your doctor really cares about. So I want to know from you guys, do you get all dolled up when it comes to going to your doctor's appointments? Yes, because that's what makes me feel comfortable every day. Every day I have on clean panties, I have on a matching bra, I wash my parts, I shave my pits. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know, that, I makes, find, that makes wait, me feel comfortable. But wait, to find dolled up, like are they getting, look, are they I putting think makeup so. on inside? Look, look, no, no, okay, I think you should clear the clean. pathway, I'll tell you that much, all right? Just, yeah. At the gynecology. Wait, Wash up, please. Is, uh, okay, yeah. the pathway. <laughs> Nobody wants that. See, I'm, I'm kind of like the Can audience. I, I heard all you guys. I do. really don't want to take the time to put on makeup for my yeah, doctor. That's, makeup. No, that's too far. I don't want to do that. But I will say that <laughs> I recently took a recommendation from you, and yes. I now use... Tamara's gynecologist. He is amazing. <laughs> and he's Asian. Yes. So I don't know why I said that. Who's <laughs> Dr. Chin? Asian. How do you know about Dr. Chin? You know, I was at the birth of your daughter. Yes. Do you he's go to bald. Dr. Chin too? No, I don't go to Dr. Chin, but I met Dr. Oh. Chin. He's bald. I like Dr. Chin. I <laughs> clean up for Dr. Chin too, okay? Yeah. Well, so I'm the there only goes one that. that hasn't met Dr. Chin. He's I'm really cool. One. I, number. I okay. usually go very just au natural. Yes. But because Dr. Chin knows this one, I just make sure that there's no, you right. know, no wildfires that could start down there. You know Wait, what I'm saying? Jeannie, I gotta uh, ask you. When what? you say you normally go au natural, yes. what exactly do you mean? You, you wash up. Do you read the Bible? Yes. <laughs> do you know about the burning bush? I do. All natural. Okay, all natural. Got it, got it. But I, 
I will tell you a I mean, tip. what scripture is that? Okay, I, I was trying to think that one. I will tell you a tip that okay. Dr. Chen told me, okay? Well, a lot of the times when you go to the OBGYN, yeah. you right. know, you want to make sure all your cracks and your crevices are all clean. Correct. Right, right, right. But, ladies, you forget about your feet. Because it's true. When you put your feet in the stirrups, you got to take your shoes off. Yes. And sometimes ladies forget. So when they take off the shoes, you smell the feet. Oh, that's yeah. So remember, remember, Ooh, no. clean your feet too. Get a yes. pedicure. I wipe. always carry, remember that. Clean carry shoes. wipies in your purse. I say this to women. Carry wipies <laughs> in your purse. They have yes. feminine ones specifically for us. And you actually, even if you showered in the morning, it's nice to be perfectly fresh. But guess what? That same wipey can also clean your feet. See? Take that out. Clean the toes. Limpia, limpia. You know what yes. I'm saying? Can we, is, it, is it a problem to just <laughs> discard the wipe and get a new wipe? No, get a no. Get a, <laughs> don't use the same one. No, no. Okay. <laughs> use two separate wipes. But I'm, I, all I'm saying is I started doing this when I was a little girl. I'm feeling real uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Wait, you guys, as a little girl, my mom would take me to the doctor, and it was like a thing. Like, made, my mom made sure that I had on a nice, clean dress, that all my buttons were sewn on properly. That yes. they weren't. She was like, y'all not going to call social services on me. I take good care of my children. That's right. I bathe them. They're here. They're in good health. But that was important to my mom. But yeah. that was important to my mom in general. I had the same thing uh, when I went to school. When you go to school and you send your children to school, I'm sorry. They are treated differently if we going to keep it real. If you yeah. got the kid with the snotty nose and it comes all crusty, their teeth are not brushed. <laughs> yes. No, real. Teeth are not brushed. Hair is flaky. They're not bathed. Yeah. Even though they're little kids and, yes, we love them, sometimes they stink. Yeah. yeah. Let's get right back into some more girl oh. yeah. It must be time for the Reels Hotline Bling. Yeah. Caller, caller, Hello. what's your name and where you from, caller? <laughs> Hi, Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hey. Hi, Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Ooh, you where got you from? perfect teeth. I'm from Atlanta. All right. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, season treating you, girl? Um, so far, so good. I'm not ready yet, but we'll Uh-oh. get there. <laughs> right? Okay. We aren't either. Yeah, okay, so ready. as you can see, we're celebrating Friday right now. Are you <gasps> celebrating tonight? Do you have some plans? Tonight, I'm just going to go into the gym, work out, maybe have a couple drinks, and then that's it. I got to okay. work tomorrow. So. Yeah, okay. You got to get it right and get it right for the new year. Right. Right. A little bird same. told me that you wanted to hear our advice. So what's going on? Um, well, basically, I am going to be 28 in March, okay. and um, I just got out of a relationship two years ago. We were together for seven years, wow. and so I'm kind of like I'm kind of like struggling between um, focusing on my career because I want to be a full time singer, and also figuring out if I just want to go ahead and forget that and settle down and work on a family and getting married because almost all of my friends from high school either have kids or they're already married. And I'm kind of like in between. Like, I'm not really sure what I need to be focused on right now. Okay. I personally believe that you can have it all. Who says you have to pick one or the other? True. You know, we have so many incredible women and ex- as examples of this with Beyonce and Jay-Z, Gloria Stefan and her husband Emilio. Like, these were like power couples together that helped each other get to their ultimate goals. And I think that the possibilities are endless. Don't limit yourself. Mm-hmm. You can That's do both. True. And by the way... Forget what your friends are doing. If they have kids and they're married, that's great for them. But your path is going to be your path. Yeah. Cool. And I agree with you, eh? I you do. You can have a child. Now people are having kids in their 40s. The only thing I would ask is when you listed out the two things that are your priorities, you said specifically singing and being a mom, having a family. But you didn't mention him. Boyfriend, right? There's no him. Oh, they broke up. Yeah, so broke the up. thing is, I, I think that at the end of the day, you should have both, yeah. mm-hmm. but you should do you and follow your dreams and do your passion now yes. because it, it, it's You're burning young. on you. You're young. You're so and, young. And that's going to come. Yeah, and you might you might meet the one along the way. Way, yes. Who knows? So definitely follow your dreams first. What are you I doing did? to work on your dreams yeah. uh, as being a singer? Um, I have my um, own independent artist showcase, and okay. I also am working on an EP, 
So I'm in the studio, and then I'm also working a full time job. So I'm kind of like overwhelmed. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. You sound like me when I was a co- up and coming comedian. Um, the best advice I can give you is to plan, plan your time, and be um, be careful of how you plan it. But make time for everything. Mm-hmm. Make time for right. your career. Make time for your social life. Make time for your friends. And, you know, set your priorities and you'll be okay. So keep checking in with us, Jasmine, all right? I want to wish you the best. I know. Everybody has their own journey. Yes. Well, thanks so much for chatting with us, Jasmine. Now, it's time to say goodbye to ugly Christmas sweaters and good evening to the latest holiday trend, fam jams. Fam jams are matching pajamas your whole family can wear for Christmas. You can even (laughs) all pose them together for your annual holiday photo. Now, Pajamagram, the company behind fam jams, says that PJs have become such a hit on Instagram that they have received over 5,000 photos of fam Families rocking them. Wow. So, ladies, do you think a fam, do you think a fam that jams together stays together? Hey! Yes! yes! <laughs> Okay, me and my family, we absolutely do this. We did it last year uh, for the night before Christmas. uh, Israel, the kids, and I were elves. I have a picture that I posted on Instagram. We were elves. There we are. Oh my God. And that was the night before Christmas. And then on Christmas, we were Santa Claus. Which we have a picture of that too. Oh, so and cute. then oh, this goodness. year after after uh, Thanksgiving, we all had we really like onesies, you guys. So we get we get yes. Christmas onesies. So we became reindeer the day after Thanksgiving, uh-huh. and we decided to twerk in our outfit. Oh, oh that's hilarious! hilarious. We were ratchet reindeer. You guys, My goodness. you guys pretty much bought out Target. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And I love this. <laughs> so I want to hear some ideas of what you guys think I should like this year. What do I do now? No, you've done a lot. I've done the uh, matchy PJ things, so but. Great. Not so matchy matchy. Yeah. So everybody has like their own Christmas style. Let's see. Do we have a I picture of see. my family? Let's oh. see. Where is it? Yeah. Oh see? My God! We're all in like Christmassy outfits, yeah. yes. but not really. Look at Araya. She, she has little that. antlers so on. Cute. I don't know she why so you put young. that on my baby head. That's it looks so cute. She looks cute. She looks adorable. She does. I don't she know don't want stuff of... on her head. Tam, oh Tam. You Lonnie. know she throw that stuff right <laughs> off. I'll be around. It was they okay. got the picture. The it's super I, cute. I'll save you, I love baby. that you guys are doing this right now. We're yeah. like, oh, it's so cool. You know who started this trend, right? Who? Asian people. We did. Really? You did. Come on now. We've been wearing pajamas everywhere to the store, to the parking lot, to do your laundry. We've been wearing pajamas everywhere. And we did it first. I'm not gonna lie, oh, Jeannie what? stays in a onesie yes, in real that life. Is true. I love it. I love onesies. They feel so comfortable. And I love everywhere. just being a little lazy sometimes. You I am I mean? so happy I'm single. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a matching one. Dress up on Christmas Day. Do you own one? Should we do this year? No. I have ideas. You don't own a onesie? Well, yeah, I had that Batman onesie, and I don't know what happened to it. Oh, that's no, we gotta get her one. We gotta get you one. No, we don't. I, I think I wanna be a candy cane. Uh, like oh, candy that'd be really cane cute. one. That's cute, right? Yeah. 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 Haters, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, audience. No, okay, you could do candy cane. Okay, so we did yeah. reindeer, elves. We did Santa yeah, Claus. I like you, year-long ones, though. Can you pick one that you could wear year-long? No, no it's for you have Christmas. to do it for Christmas. Yeah, I even saw ones that now they're onesies, right? And then on the butt, you guys, they have the flap, and it says special delivery. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen them. Now, listen up, because I'm about to tell you how to have the breast Christmas ever. The who? <laughs> do you all remember hearing about the ta-ta towel? You know, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I saw this okay. on Instagram. Yeah. It was the towel designed to help combat under boob sweat, a problem all women have. Well, they want to make sure your tatas are covered when it comes to Christmas. The company is offering a limited edition holiday line of towels that include one with a candy cane print, See, Adrian, she's trying to be want, like me, and a not so silent night print for only. $45. Ooh. So, ladies, will you be decorating your tatas this holiday season? For $45? Does it, no. for $45, does it come with the Christmas lights? I know, right? That's that looks a lot unsafe. for $45. Do, do you guys get under boob sweat to begin with? Mm. I honestly... As big as really? mine are? No, I don't. No. They stay... But and? you know why? Because I put that powder up under there. Oh, that yeah. powder. Yes. <laughs> you, know, you know what else works for that now even better? 
like Dove Secret, a lot of the um, the deodorants now have yeah. sprays that you can use that yeah, combat under boob sweat. Yeah, yeah. you can even just use a I'm swipe, confused though. by this. Do people walk around with I, those things on like that? I don't know like what that? they do with that. that I can't, can't do that in my house. Well, that's like, just, it's that's for the, like, gym weird. and stuff like You're that. You're going to wear that in the gym? Yeah, that's like in the sauna, when you go to the sauna, instead of just wrapping it around, you wrap, you know, you use oh, it the, for like in that. in the sauna. Right. I thought you were walking around the gym. I know. With that thing. No. I well, triple dog will. dare you. If you wear that to the gym, Lonnie Love, <laughs> I need you to take a picture no, and tag all sauna. of us. the sauna. The sauna. Oh, the sauna. You know, like when you're sitting in the sauna and stuff, instead of being naked, you could just wear that. And then I, that is more How about a regular towel? Like, I'm but cool then the with the regular comes towel. Off. That doesn't come off. But then it depends on the size of your boobs. Because if your boobs are a little, you know, yes. flat, flat, it goes loud. Yeah. yeah. Can you that, imagine sitting that might there? Be hanging here. Like chilling right at here. the sauna, and all of a sudden it goes boing. Yeah, yeah it flops exactly. up. It just flops up. Do, you do know? either of you guys have one of these? No. I, no. I have one. Oh, so, you do? Yeah, that's why it. I like it because it's convenient for the sauna. That's Wait, why I like it for the you, sauna. That's only where you wear it. Because my question is, how does this work under your clothes? Yeah. You don't wear this under your clothes. That's what no, I'm no, saying. No. Like, it's just like a towel. Like when you get out the shower and you can put it on and, you know, you could dry off and you just, you know, and then it gives it's a little... It's just like a towel. She acts know? like it's real normal to walk into her bathroom and see her wearing this stupid contraption yeah. like this. What? <laughs> what? That is I have a question. Thing. Why not just wipe under there with the towel you have wrapped around you? Because you could be doing things. Like, you know how you wipe the... You, you wrap the towel around you? Yeah. Like sometimes you, you wrap it makeup. around and it goes... Yeah, exactly. So well, you, it's just more convenient. That's all it is. Jeannie got me a better gift than this. Jeannie got me a towel that actually has my name on it for my wedding. wedding. She got it. It says Adrian in gold on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a towel that has the thing. And it has Velcro. Yeah, yeah. see? So, it you just... off, so I can do my makeup. I can see that my chest matches my chin Perfect. and matches my forehead. Right. And or I can see, what but about it... a robe? You know, like really nice yeah. bath robes? Yeah. You just put no, it on and that's too much, Sam. That's too much. It's too much? It's too much. What, you get hot? It's too much, yeah. Okay. I get real hot, Tam. Oh! <laughs> On holidays in New York, so I'm hot in New York. Yes. I won't be sweating over there. And that way, you could just, you know, dry off, do everything you need. Click, click, you just I done. Think it's a bit extra. That's what they call it. I like think that. it's a bit extra. I do too. I, I and for forty five dollars, is I it think bad that I just want to see Lonnie in it? Yeah, me too. Oh, I'll I want to know you a picture, okay? <laughs> I want to see if it fully covers your. Let's see how this works. It covers universe. mine. It will cover. Yeah. No, I got uh, some. Okay. Ooh, I got you don't it. got enough to hold on to? Yeah, you got to have enough for it to hold up. Oh, That's oh, the thing. Oh, so. Do you just have the regular this, one? Oh, this table is lacking a little bit. Uh, so. <laughs> there's nothing like the look and smell of a live, yes. fresh Christmas tree, so right, many Adrian? Great childhood <laughs> memories. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. But even though those branches are pretty, <laughs> we don't want to leave them bare, yeah. right? That no. would not be cute. No. So today, we're going to show you how to deck out your tree with a little DIY. Mm -hmm. This is yes. Ode to Ornaments. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drink while we do this. Yes, yes, drinking is good. <laughs> drinking is good. But even like when you make family like <laughs> traditions and holiday, and you're, you're, you're usually know, you get a little drinking. eggnog, you yeah. drink a little bit and make it fun. That's right. the Christmas spirit. That's yes. right. All right, you guys, I am so glad we have a real Christmas yes. tree here today. Isn't it gorgeous? It smells it's so beautiful. good. It does. And there's just something about taking the whole family to a Christmas tree farm, picking out your tree, and bringing it home. Yes. I love that. Make so many memories. And actually yeah. picking the one that you want, cutting, like, it's so awesome. Yes. Well, real Christmas trees are a real crop, farmer planted, and hand harvested, specifically for people to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And for every real Christmas tree that's harvested, I love this, one new tree is yes, planted. Yes, I love oh, that. Wow. that. Cheers to that. Yes, cheers to that. For our earth. Yes. yes. So, Adrian, how are you decorating our tree's branches today? All right. Now, a lot of offices actually have coffee machines, even in your homes, <laughs> that use recyclable coffee pods like these. Have you seen yes. these before? Yes. Yep. So, I'm going to show you how to repurpose them into cute top hat ornaments. You ready for this? Yes. yes. Cute. Right. Cute idea. It is a great way to reuse what you've already got lying around. So first, you're gonna use a black coffee pod, just like this one that I showed you. Okay. And you're gonna actually peel off the foil like I just did right now. Okay. And you're gonna peel it off like this. Or yes, like girl, and get you're it. Gonna pour out. <laughs> you're gonna empty it. Pour out all the coffee grounds. I love the way coffee. And smells. then you're gonna actually oh. wash it out. 
So here's the washed out version of it right here. Yep. Next, you're going to cut out a black circle from construction paper, from black construction paper, like this right here, that's slightly larger than the top of the pod to make the brim of the hat. Ah. Yes. So it'll actually look like I that. I see where Does you're going sense? here, Yeah, you see that? You see that? Yep. So it's a mm -hmm. little bit bigger? Mm-hmm. All right. Now you're going to take a craft knife and punch two holes into it. This is what a craft knife looks like right here, folks. Be very Be careful. careful. Be, Be very careful. careful when using it. It is very You're going to make small holes at the bottom of your cup so that it looks like, hey, oh, it's so like that, that. It's like this yeah, right here. The holes are right there. Do you there. see that? Can you kind of see the holes? Okay. Yep. Right at the bottom of it. We and what you're it. gonna do there is you're going to put some pretty twine, I like this silver one right here, and you're gonna thread it right through, and then that is going to end up looking like that this. That is so cute. Right? Yes. So this is so that you can hang your ornament up. You get it? This is the part. Next, you're gonna take a hot glue, and you're gonna attach the coffee pod, just like mm -hmm. this, after you've connected this. Yes. And you're gonna attach it with hot glue, so okay. go for that. Mm -hmm. I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. This is All right. Right. Marathon. Okay. Patience, patience, patience. You're gonna attach that to the brim. Okay. And then you've Ooh, got that is hot. You a little smell top that? hat like this. Go yes, for it. see? Bam. Boom. Attached, you see, <gasps> see Tam? That's yes. the bottom. So cute. <laughs> now, once the glue is set, you can add whatever you want. You can add like a ribbon for the mm -hmm. trim and even some rhinestones. Check out all these options these we have balls right here. Oh, no, cute. she's blinging them out. Yeah, you can bling it out. You've got <laughs> little balls right balls there. Are. Yeah. So Happy many hours, options. almost over. Keep it going. Yes. Now, when you're done, it is going to look like this. Let me not fall. So cute. I'm gonna How glue cute. some balls. And you're ready to hang it up on your tree. And Thank you're you. ready. I just love that munchkin. It's so, so cute, it fits so your so head. Cute. And you know what? Seriously, you're helping the environment by <laughs> reusing that. that coffee pod. A real Christmas tree is yes. much friendlier to the environment than an artificial tree, which has three times the impact on our environment compared to real trees. Yes. Now, Jeannie, tell me about the tree topper and okay. make it quick. <laughs> okay, mine's gonna be so cool. Your 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 hats are amazing, but mine is gonna top oh, the tree. Oh, well, Adrian thanks, and Jeannie. Sam. I've got a beautiful gold starburst that looks expensive. Yeah. But it's completely homemade. You just need a few supplies. Wood skewers, a foam ball, uh -huh. a small piece of five inch PVC pipe, and you can find all these things at a craft store for under $10. Wow! Ooh. That's good. Okay, that's a great. great price. So to get started, stick the PVC pipe into this ball like this. Stick that pipe into that ball. Hey, okay. Lonnie. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some glue. So you can do this. So that, oh, Lonnie, will you help? Mm. Okay, there. Then you take this and you stick it into the ball just like that. See, now it's secure, okay? Then you add some, um, the hot glue so you can reinforce it. Hold on, then you start sticking these sticks. So Lonnie, help me, you stick these sticks in here so it's like a starburst. Lonnie, get over here. What do you want me to do? We're gonna run out of time. Then we stick all these sticks in here, as many as you can fit to make the starburst, just like that. See, you can think about your ex-boyfriend. Don't be cheating on me. Think about those shoes you didn't buy on sale, so expensive. Hold on, I need a drink break. Okay? <laughs> Think about your mom that keeps talking crap about you. Okay, there. And then, once you've got all the skewers in the ball, you spray paint the whole thing gold, and then it's it looks gonna like look this. It's going to look like this, okay? It's time to go. That go. is awesome. See? I love it. Yes. See? Wow, it's so beautiful. I really feel the Christmas spirit. You know what? I feel the spirit. Come on, sing it with me, everybody. Dance the halls with Bowser.